Hello, I'm Brian Thurman, the Clinical Education Manager for Health First. Today, we're going to talk about the current epinephrine auto-injector shortage. There is currently a nationwide manufacturer back order of epinephrine auto-injectors. As a result, many dentists will have expired epinephrine auto-injectors until they become available again. Shortages like this are not uncommon in the U.S. pharmaceutical market, and the FDA works hard to minimize the impact and supply life-saving drugs like epinephrine auto-injectors to practitioners and patients as quickly as possible. Please see the link in the description for more information from the FDA about drug shortages. In the meanwhile, we recommend to our customers to brush up on their training using epinephrine from a vial or ampule. If you want hands-on practice with these techniques, we have included a link in the description to Walker's Practivial line of products, which contains sterile water instead of live drugs. In this video, we will describe the process of drawing up epinephrine from a vial and from an ampule. The best practice, as stated by both Dr. Malamed and the ADA, is to use an epinephrine auto-injector in the event of anaphylaxis. But when one isn't available, the next best option is to be ready to use a needle and a syringe for administration. First, let's talk about the epinephrine vial. The epinephrine 1 to 1,000, 1 milligram, 1 milliliter vial is covered with a plastic dust cover that must be removed prior to inserting a needle. The first step will be to remove it like so. Secondly, in order to remove fluid from a vial, we first need to inject an equal volume of air into that vial as the amount of fluid we wish to withdraw. This compensates for negative air pressure that would be created by attempting to remove fluid. The exact amount will depend on the size of dose you intend to inject. According to the package insert for the epinephrine vial, the dose for adults and children 66 pounds or more is 0.3 to 0.5 milligrams, which is 0.3 to 0.5 milliliters every 5 to 10 minutes as necessary. The dose for children 66 pounds or less is 0.01 milligrams per kilogram, up to 0.3 milligrams, which is 0.3 milliliters. The adult epinephrine auto-injector dose is 0.3 milligrams, so in this case we will draw up 0.3 milliliters of air before injecting it into the empty space above the fluid line. Then draw up your intended dose. Lastly, make sure you express any air before administering an injection. The appropriate injection route for epinephrine 1 to 1000 is intramuscularly or subcutaneously into the anterolateral aspect of the thigh, which is midway down the side of the thigh. Now let's talk about the epinephrine 1 to 1000 1 mg 1 ml ampule. While this product has been recently discontinued, some emergency medical kits will have ampules instead of vials, which are similar to in injection site and in dosing, but do have a couple special considerations. First, it is important to know how to open an ampule of epinephrine. To do this, we have to break open a sealed glass ampule. A good technique is to wrap one piece of gauze around the narrow part of the ampule and another piece around the fat part of the ampule. Holding the ampule upright, snap the ampule open by pushing the top away from us. Then, taking one of the syringes from your emergency medical kit, draw up the contents of the ampule by holding the ampule relatively horizontal to the ground. We then express any air bubbles from the syringe by holding it vertically. We then inject the appropriate dose for the age and weight of the patient into the outer thigh. When done, discard the broken ampule and used syringe into a sharps container. Again, this is not the ideal method for a response to an anaphylaxis emergency. But when auto-injectors are unavailable, it is good to understand the alternatives and how to administer them. Thank you for watching, and if you have any further questions, please call a Health First representative at 800-331-1984.